Well, the White House has rolled out a new website dubbed the Healthcare Wizard to help business navigate Obamacare. This as major health insurers like Anthem Blue Cross and Aetna United and Humana are dropping out of the exchanges in some states. And it's sending premiums for individuals and businesses through the roof. Businesses owned by people like our next guest. Ryan Tate is the president of Tate Publishing Enterprises and employs over 400 and 50 people. Ryan, welcome. Thank you. So this is going to be fully implemented, the Obamacare law, in January. Not the employer mandate. No, the employer no, mandate. Except for the employer mandate. But do you and, know what this means? Yeah. I mean, do you have a full sense of what this is going to mean for you? You would, uh, it would be hard for you to find any business owner that knows what's getting ready to happen. And that's one of the big problems is the Affordable Care Act has put so much uncertainty into the marketplace. And you can imagine, look what happens on Wall Street when there's uncertainty. It's the same thing with these private health insurance providers. Uh, for us, we were a mid-year renewal coming up heading into the Affordable Care Act coming up in September, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield increased our premiums 31.7%. Right, 31.7% for Blue Cross Blue Shield. And that was the very thing that President Obama sold. I mean, one of the ways that he sold the Affordable Care Act right. to America was that premiums were skyrocketing and out of control and were bankrupting right, people. So, so you must have been comforted that you were going to have a different option <laughs> to pay that 31.7% percent and, and, and see. The Affordable Care Act's not here. It's not going to be here. It's not even an option on the table for people like me. Why? Uh, you mean right now? Right but now. But at some point it will in the next two years. Uh, we hope so. Now, the employer mandate being pushed back didn't affect my company because we already provide health insurance. But what that proves is that throughout the implementation of Obamacare, they're going to push it back, push it back, push it back. This won't be the first or the last time that you see them just arbitrarily in the middle of the night say, you know what, never mind, we're not ready for that yet. But business owners, we're being forced to make real-time decisions while they're playing politics and games and positioning and posturing. So, yeah, so you, you, you started this business, you run a successful business, you understand business, of course. When sure. you heard the president trying to sell this law by making the following argument that you're going to get a lot more services sure. and everybody's going to pay less, did you recognize at the time that that was impossible? That's like magic, right? Yeah, it's magic. It doesn't happen. And I, I uh, in Oklahoma, Integris Health Systems is our largest health care provider. And one of the hospitals, I'm the chairman of the governing board for that hospital. You don't have to go very far to look at what Medicare and Medicaid already do to hospitals in the health care systems to uh, assume what's going to happen with a big bad boy like Obamacare coming through. Uh, quality of care will go down. Patient safety will decrease. Uh, doctors won't be able to make money and what you'll end up with at the end of the day is doctors will treat you based on what does the Obamacare you know reimbursement schedule not what's best for you as a patient but just to be clear you did want an option so that you didn't have to always be beholden to Blue Cross Blue, oh, Cross Blue Shield sure and, and that's part of the frustration too we don't need a government monopoly I want competition. I want people competing for my business. I think there's a lot of things we can do to change our current healthcare system, uh, but the government kicking everybody out of the marketplace is not going to win for especially small business owners. Ryan Tate, you are the president of Tate Publishing and Enterprises. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you guys. It's a blast being here. Thanks. We'll take down sometime. <laughs> I don't think so. Two wrestlers, two former wrestlers. I don't know what's going to happen during the commercial oh, break. He'll win.